Hello, my name is Judith Hartzell. I'm a PhD student at the Human Computer Interaction Group at Universität Hamburg. And I will present our paper Analysis of Detection Thresholds for Hand Redirection during Mid-Air Interactions in Virtual Reality. We analyze detection thresholds for redirected virtual hands with a redirection method where the virtual hand was decelerated so that the real hand had to be moved further. The blue hand in the video shows the user's real hand position and was not visible during the experiment. Handedness and motion direction were of particular interest to us, so we included both hands and six different motions per hand. We applied our findings in a confirmatory study. Using the hands is one of the most intuitive ways to interact with a virtual environment and camera-based hand tracking is supported by more and more head-mounted displays so that no additional hardware like tracking gloves are needed. Humans perceive the position of body parts such as hands through multisensory integration by merging information from the visual system as well as proprioceptive, proprioceptive and kinesthetic information. Due to the dominance of the visual system in this process, perception of the hand's real position can be manipulated in VR. If these manipulations are small enough, they can stay unnoticed by the user. Decelerated virtual hands might be beneficial in therapeutic applications, for example for pain therapy or as preventive exercises for the elderly. Users could perform larger movements than they would actually do so that the exercises could be performed more intensively. It could furthermore reduce patients' fear of pain, as patients could be encouraged to perform motions that they would usually avoid. Here's a short overview of related works. There are already works that reported detection thresholds for angular or gain-based hand redirection methods. However, the setup and focus of our works are quite different. Previous works looked at pointing motions or letting the participants move their hands freely, while in our setup we used six different predefined motions, both directions on all three spatial axes. While other works only visualized the participants' hands, we used a whole body avatar to enhance the feeling of embodiment. The avatar's hand size and arm length were adjusted for each participant. We used the hand tracking of the Oculus Quest, which supports accurate finger tracking. Furthermore, both hands were included in our setup, while in previous works only the right hand, regardless of the user's handedness, was used. We estimated detection thresholds using a staircase method, which I will explain in more detail later. The redirection method we used applies a linear gain to the virtual hand on all axes. We used a gain factor between 0.4 and 1 for the decelerated movements, where 1 is identical to the actual hand movement. The redirection was applied to the hand root bone so that only the hand position, not the fingers, were manipulated. For the avatar's arm motion, we used an inverse kinematics approach. We analyzed detection thresholds for both directions on each spatial axis, inward and outward, forward and backward, and upward and downward. In the image, you can see the start and end position of each motion for both hands. After each trial, participants were asked to answer the following questions. Was the movement of the virtual hand identical or not identical to your real hand? We were especially interested in two things. First, is there a difference in detection thresholds between the movement direction of each axis? And second, do detection thresholds differ between the dominant and non-dominant hand? We expected a higher sensitivity in the dominant hand. Participants proceeded through 480 trials in total in 24 conditions, six motion directions, two hands left and right, and two redirection modes, decelerated and accelerated. Although we were especially interested in decelerated redirections, accelerated hand movements were included to avoid habituation effects. Each condition had two starting points or staircases, as you can see in the graph, starting from the highest and lowest gain factor in that condition, 1 and 0 0.4 for the decelerated mov movements. If the movement of the virtual hand was perceived to be identical, it, in the next trial, more redirection was applied. For the decelerated redirection mode, this means a lower gain factor. If the movements of the hand were perceived to be not identical, less redirection was applied in the next trial. Gain factor increased in the decelerated mode. 
We calculated the detection thresholds by taking the mean of the last five trials from both staircases, as the staircases has, had developed around the participants' true detection threshold until then. We had 20 participants, 12 of them were male with a mean age of 25.3 years. The detection thresholds for each movement direction are in a range between 0.727 and 0.552. We found significant main effect for movement direction with a higher sensitivity for inward versus outward motions, for upward versus downward and forward versus backward. We could not find significantly different detection thresholds for the dominant or non-dominant hand. Standard deviations for each condition are between 0 0.119 and 0 0.6167. Based on this, more conservative detection thresholds can be derived. We applied the detection thresholds into a simple playful application and conducted a small confirmatory study with six participants, three younger and three older adults. The task of the game was to touch soap bubbles to free the butterflies within them. Participants were asked to play two versions of the game, first with normal hands and after that with redirected hands, where we applied redirection on each movement direction according to the thresholds we found. One participant explicitly noticed hand movement was manipulated in the second version. One other said that the bubbles were harder to reach, but reported that real and virtual hands were aligned all the time and hypothesized that the bubbles were further away in the second version. The other four participants did not notice any differences between the versions. To summarize our work, we found significantly different detection thresholds for decelerated hand movements for both motion directions on each spatial axis. So for an optimal experience, redirection should be applied according to the lowest detection threshold, which is forward with 0 0.727, or the virtual hand position needs to be reset to avoid drifting over time. Interestingly, an effect of handedness could not be found. The confirmatory study showed that detection thresholds mainly hold when applied in a game context. If these values also work for pain patients and how a therapeutic application based on unnoticeable hand redirection could be developed remains to be investigated.